the way to go. Because I'm going out to dinner tonight for my husband's Christmas, uh, or a Christmas dinner with some of my husband's buddies on the floor. And I want to work out in case I eat too big of a portion of something. <laughs> but I will not eat dessert. I'm not a dessert kind of person anyways. So this is my second set of jump jumping. My first set, I was watching Jenny's vlog. How many is that? Okay. I'm wearing my Michael Jackson shirt again because it's already dirty, so I'm sweating it. I'm supposed to go out to a good dinner, and I don't want to be a freak and not eat there. <laughs> so I think I've got the restaurant thing down, what not to order, stuff like that. And if it's a place that has steak, then that's good. So, I can just order that. I had a tough day today. It was mentally taxing. I didn't get enough sleep, first of all. And then I had to drive a field trip into the city. And so I had five kids in my car. I was tired. <laughs> and I got home and I'm thinking, you know, I have time to work out before dinner. I'm gonna do, I was gonna go out and run, but then I get home and Angel, my husband, is like, oh, we're leaving at 4.30. I'm like, what? It's three o'clock. I'm not gonna have time to work out. So I'm trying to fit in a, a little mini workout and it's good, because then I'll feel better going to dinner tonight. In case I cheat, I did a little bit something to try to prevent any weight gain. This morning, I lost 0.8 pounds. I think any weight loss beyond this point, since I cracked my 136 plateau, which I um, plateau, but like my set point, like I could never get lower than 136. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, today I was 135.6. So any weight that I lose beyond now is bonus. Um, since I'm, I'm at a healthy BMI, I'm not at the ideal weight, but what is ideal weight anyways, right? I mean, it says I have, I, my ideal weight for my frame is supposed to be like 122 to 130. That is weird. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I would be like, you know, um, we're not teenagers anymore. We're women and we have hips and we have booties and we have boobs <laughs> that um that account for some of the ideal weight so if i get to the upside or the high side of my ideal weight which is 130 that would be awesome but if i don't it's still awesome because i feel good like some of your comments said, you know, if you feel good, uh, that's really all that counts, and I feel good. And I drove the field trip today, and I saw a bunch of moms, and they were like, I just saw you at the soccer game last month, and what kind of diet are you on? Because <laughs> I remember last month, I was complaining, like, I think it was two weeks before I even called the clinic, or got the HCG, and I was complaining to my soccer mom friends that, oh, I've gotten so, you know, I feel like crap, I've been eating crap, and but I need to lose weight, blah, blah, blah. And that was when I was high, like 140, I think it was like 149 or something like that. And now I'm 135, and they just saw me, so they're kind of wondering, because they don't know anything about the diet. The only, I only have like two friends, and they're really close to me that know about it, and they, those two are interested. I'll really be able to prove this protocol works 
if by the end of this school year I hadn't gained I haven't gained any weight, you know, and that's what kind of what sold me on the protocol and I have a lot of confidence that that's going to happen because during these 28 days I've learned a lot about myself and how my body reacts to foods. I know before I knew stuff like I knew I had a sensitivity to rice and all that, but all the other foods too, you know, I my eyes are open to all the foods that affect me in adverse adverse ways and um I think moving forward I can fix any kind of problem I you know run into. So if I gain two pounds overnight, you know, I can look back and say, what did I eat yesterday? Oh, that's right, I ate a bunch of tomatoes or whatever, you know. And then the next day, fix the problem, you know, more protein, you know, more water or whatever, you know, and it, it'll always be in our minds. And that's why we say, oh, you release 10 pounds, you release 10 pounds forever, you know, because if you gain it back, you know how to get rid of it. I guess I'm really just happy about the whole thing. I'm, 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 on, I'm on a high today, even though I've had five hours sleep. Maybe it's the rope jumping. <laughs> Those are my stats. I'm down 0.8 pounds. I'm 135.6, and I have approximately 12 more days left on 8 CG, and 14 or 15 more days on BLCD. And then I'm in P3, and it's gonna be Christmas. Woo! Um, I hope you guys liked my my makeup video. I was like, I watched it again last night, and I was like, oh my god. It's so long. It's so long. I apologize. You guys should really just watch it in like five minute intervals, you know? Get the first five minutes done, you know, go and do something, whatever, and then come back, watch the next five minutes, whatever, you know? Because you can only stand so much of me talking, you know, ranting or whatever the heck I was saying when I was doing that. Um, I do want to say though that it doesn't take me that long to put my makeup on. It was just because it was instructional. That's it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, love you all and ta-ta. Ciao. Have a great weekend. Peace.